Breaking news. According to Putin, during the counteroffensive, Ukraine lost between 25 and 30 percent of the foreign supplied military vehicles it had. Putin claimed on Tuesday that Ukraine had lost between 25 and 30 percent of the Western supplied military vehicles it had used in its counteroffensive and that Ukraine had suffered 10 times as many casualties as Russia. In a meeting with military bloggers that was broadcast on television, Putin made the remarks. He claimed that Ukraine had lost over 160 tanks and that Russia had lost 50, some of which were repairable. He also blamed Ukraine for last week's dam collapse in Kahovka, saying the country had shelled the dam with HIMARS missiles made in the United States. Unfortunately, Reuters was unable to quickly confirm his claims. Reuters's reporting and Andrew Osborne's editing, Moscow's first deployment of such warheads outside Russia since the fall of the Soviet Union in 1991 was announced in March when Russian President Vladimir Putin announced a plan to deploy tactical nuclear weapons in Belarus. Can you tell me more about the deployment? A Putin comment? Putin is showing the West that he will not back down from the Ukraine conflict by deploying nuclear weapons. Putin made the announcement almost offhand during an interview with Pavel Zarubin, the Kremlin correspondent for state television, that was first published on Telegram on March 25. Putin stated that the announcement by Britain that it would supply depleted uranium munitions to Ukraine prompted the decision to deploy in Belarus. According to a Wall Street Journal article published on June 13, the United States is planning to give Ukraine depleted uranium tank rounds. Belarus claimed the move was in response to the West's aggressive policy, and was made to make Western leaders pause before taking any further escalatory action. Where will the weapons be distributed, if any? Putin announced the deployment of tactical, nuclear weapons to Belarus, so-called because they are made for use on the battlefield, but did not specify which warheads would be deployed or where. Putin claimed that Belarus had already received the mobile short-range ballistic missiles known as Iskander. The Iskander, according to Russian sources, can travel up to 500 kilometers. Putin added that 10 Belarusian planes had been retrofitted to carry the bombs. According to Belarus, the Su-25s were modified to carry the bombs. It has been reported in Russia that the Suhoi-25 jet can travel up to 1,000 kilometers. The Lida Air Base is only 40 kilometers from the Lithuanian border, according to the Federation of American Scientists. When Russia, according to Putin, plans to deploy the weapons after finishing construction of a special storage facility in Belarus on July 7-8, Lukashenko's comments have varied. He mentioned the deployment would take place in several days, on June 13, but it appeared last month that the weapons were already in motion. His comments that nuclear weapons for everyone who joined the Russia-Belarus union are also concerning. WHO runs the show? Putin assured that Moscow would maintain command of the arsenal, saying that this was the case with American tactical nuclear weapons in Europe as well. Since the 1950s, the United States has kept nuclear weapons at NATO bases in Europe in case they need to use them against the Soviet Union. Putin has voiced his displeasure with the deployment of 200 US B-61 tactical nuclear warheads to bases in Belgium, the Netherlands, Germany, Italy, and Turkey on multiple occasions. US nuclear weapons and the permissive action link, PAL. Codes used to arm them are stored in secure locations at military airfields. The 12th Main Directorate, 12th GUMO, of Russia's Ministry of Defense is responsible for the movement and storage of the country's nuclear arsenal. Nuclear dangers? The United States went to great lengths following the Soviet Union's dissolution in 1991 to ensure that the nuclear weapons it had stationed in Belarus, Ukraine, and Kazakhstan were returned to Russia. Putin's decision to reintroduce nuclear weapons to Belarus demonstrates the collapse of the framework supporting nuclear arms control since the end of the Cold War. How will the USA and NATO react? 
The United States has criticized Putin's nuclear deployment, but has also stated that it has seen no signs that Russia is preparing to use a nuclear weapon and has no plans to change its posture on strategic nuclear weapons. According to a March 27 State Department statement, we have seen no reason to adjust our own strategic nuclear posture, nor have they seen any signs that Russia is preparing to use a nuclear weapon. But to be perfectly frank, we disagree with this announcement. On April 18, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg called Putin's action reckless.